The first command that God gave man was to work. Uh, work shows up in the Bible before woman. And that's because a man needs work before a woman. The word work is what I call the law of work. Everybody's a law of work. Now remember we're talking about laws. Work is a law. That means anything that stops you from working violates the law. So if you want to get something without effort, you're violating a law. If you want something free, you are violating a law. That's why God doesn't like beggars. A beggar is somebody who wants something without effort. Let me quote the King David says, I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread. Notice the condition, righteous. What is righteous? Staying in line with the laws. He said, if you stay in line with the laws, you will never be a beggar. What? A beggar is not a worker. And the first law God gave man was to work. Matter of fact, let's read it. Genesis 2.15. And the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden. And he commanded the man to what? To work. And to care for it. First command of God, work. Everybody say work. Say it loud. Work is not a curse. The curse occurs in chapter 3. The curse is not work. Work shows up in chapter 2 of Genesis. No devil, no sin, no demon. And God says work. Why? Because work is the reason why you were created. Let me explain what I mean. The word work is the word eragon in, in, in Greek and Hebrew. Uh, the transliteration of the word eragon. And the word actually means to become. The word work also means to work out something. To become what you are. I tried to explain this in the last session. For example, uh, it's like talking to a seed to become. What's in a seed? A forest. Trees. So when you tell the tree, work, you're telling the tree, become what you already are. That's the word for work. So when God told Adam, work, you're telling Adam, become what's trapped on the inside. So work is not something that the government provides. And that's why you're broke. You're looking for jobs. You're waiting for some investor to come and give you a job. If the investor doesn't come, you can't find a job, you can't pay your bills, you kick out of your home, and you can't work. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why it's so important for you to remember that work has nothing to do with your understanding. Let me just get rid of this for a second. Work has nothing to do with your finding a job. Work has to do with finding who you're supposed to become. Is that clear? That's the word for work. I am successful because I'm not doing something. I am becoming something. Write this down, please. Very important. Work is like a seed becoming a tree. It's like a, it's like a bird flying. A bird was designed to fly. That's its work. So when a bird is flying, you can actually say the bird is working. When a tree comes out of a seed, you can say the seed is working. When a fish is swimming, you can say the fish is working. Why? It's becoming what it is. Therefore, work is like a seed becoming a tree. Now, let me just say this quickly. Not all jobs are your work. Most people go to a place where they can't become. Why? Because you are restricted by what the job tells you to do and what you cannot do. And this is why most people hate their jobs. Because their jobs actually suffocate their real gift. And so they find themselves hating Monday mornings, going to a place they don't like, and they can't wait to leave it because it's like a bird trapped in a cage for eight hours. Why? Because you are not really working. You have a job. Your job, therefore, will never be your work because it traps you. Your work can become your job if you find your work in your job. In other words, if you have a job where you are becoming, then you are not on a job. You're going to work. It's like a singer who was born to sing 
and he has a singing business a job well he's not going to work he's not going to a job rather he's going to work every day let me let me say something very interesting jesus said all the time i work the work of him that sent me and then he says i do the work of him who sent me and then he says my father works therefore i work and I came to work the work that the father gave me to do. He never says job. Jesus had a job, you know. His job was a carpenter. His work was redeemer. He said, I didn't come to be a carpenter. I came really to redeem the world. That's my work. And my work is to do what? The will of my father. That's an important statement. My work is to do what? The will. What is will? The original intent of the manufacturer who sent me. So work is becoming what you were born to be and work therefore can become your job if you are doing in your job what you were born to do. Is that clear? And this, by the way, this is why most jobs kill people. Jobs can kill you because you can actually be trapped in a place for 40 years suffocating your life and living in bitterness and hatred and anger and you are always irritated because you are in a place you don't want to be and don't like to be and therefore you hate everybody every day for 40 years and the bible says what bitterness dries up the bones that means it creates cancer yeah when people say this job is killing me they are correct so i've come to you in this session to tell you how to be free from your job so you can find your work because your prosperity is not in your job your prosperity is in your work and just explain how that works now okay write this down please your goal in life is not to be employed say that with me my goal in life is not to be employed say it again can you write that down please i want you to write it down look at it for a second the number one promise of your governments is jobs. So your goal is to get a job. The young man here tonight comes out of high school. First thing he's told, go get a job. They never say go get a business. The guy who just comes out of college, this lady with a PhD or a master's degree, comes back home first attempt gotta find a job it's as if we believe we were born to be employed but I want to change your thinking tonight write a new word down you were born to be deployed everybody say deployed say it again deployed employment means somebody else controls you Deployment means you release what's on the inside of you. Those who deploy themselves employ others. Deployers employ. If you're tired of being employed, focus on being a deployer. I'm going to explain what a deployer is in a minute. But that's where your wealth is. Those who deploy themselves determine their own value. Those who are employed, their value is determined by the one who employed them. <laughs> so a salary is really someone else's opinion of how much you are worth. When you deploy yourself, you establish your own worth. So a job is employment. Work is deployment. Employment prepares you for deployment. When you go to a job, always remember this is temporary. I am going to use this opportunity to deploy myself. In other words, deployment activates your gifts and energizes your life, not employment. People who are employed are always complaining. Don't look now, you're sitting next to one. You know, 
this whole stupid job. I'm tired of being here. These folks don't trust me. They don't know what I'm worth. They don't understand me. I, I, I hate this place. They, they not, I supposed to be a raise. I, I can't get no raise. I, I get promoted. I mean, they spend years just employed and, and complaining while they are employed. And, and the complaint is coming from the fact that their gift is not being activated. Therefore, there's no excitement and no energy in their lives. When you go to a place where your juices come out, where you can release all the desires and the gifts on the inside, you can't wait to get there. As a matter of fact, five o'clock becomes depressing when you are in your work. You don't want to leave it. You know, birds don't get tired flying. Did you know that scientists have discovered that birds get energy from flight and that fish get energy from swimming? That means if what you are doing are wearing you out, then that's a sign that you are not in your work. A person who is in their gift hates sunsets. Why? They want the day to be longer because they can't wait to stay in what they're doing. But if you can't wait for five o'clock, you watch your clock from three o'clock till five. That means you are not in your work yet. You are on a job. You are employed and not deployed. Write this down. Deployment is the use and the serving of your natural gift to the world. Deployment is the use and the serving of your natural gift to the world. They asked Michael Jackson one time, uh, why do you love singing so much? He said, because singing is me. It is me. But that's true. Remember, work is what you want. It's becoming what you are. So he... He, he called it going to work. Singing is not a job to a real singer. <laughs> so when you find your gift, when you find your, your, your deployment, you actually find the gift you serve to the world. And the world will pay you for being yourself. Can you imagine getting paid for something you like to do? That's why people who live long are usually those who have found something that they can't wait to do in the morning. Because it's good for your health. It, it gives you actually your adrenaline begins to get higher and your, your systems of throwing against uh, disease is so high because your immune system actually finds strength from a good attitude. It protects you from getting sick. Remember, jobs do kill. Make a note of this. Your future 